I got this Philips Universal Remote Control off of Amazon for $6.39. You can control up to three devices for all major brands such as Apple, Samsung, Roku. It has streaming app hotkeys and you can use it to control your DVD or Blu-ray player. You can also control your soundbar and your streaming players. This is the three device version. There's a look at all the different functionality on the back of the box. So let's take it out of the box. There's the user manual on the back. There's the remote. Comes in four other colors. The AAA batteries are not included, so we have to put two of those in there. I'm going to try to use this for a Roku TV, so I can get to the channels using the numbers instead of going left and right and up and down. So here we are on the list of codes. So Roku TV 6171 and 6001. So let's try them out. Okay, first up, let's put in the two AAA batteries. Take the cover off of there. Slide that one in. Slide the other battery in. Put the cover back on. So all we need to do is hit the setup button here until the red light turns on. Then select which device we're using. So I'm going to use TV for Roku TV. Then it says press and release the mute button. It says we can use any of the device buttons to control any of the devices. Let me punch in our code. Then point the remote at the device. Test the buttons on the remote to see if everything works as expected. Otherwise we have to try another code. To get started I'm going to turn on my Sharp Roku TV using the Roku remote. Now let's connect the remote to the TV holding down the setup button until the light goes solid and hitting TV and then punching in the number for our TV. So six one seven one Now you can see the volumes going up and down, that the remote's connected to the TV. The channel goes up and down with the remote connected to the TV. The numbers are not working for this code, however, to change the channels by the numbers. So I tried the code for the Sharp TV next, and now I'm able to punch in numbers so if the TV recognizes the number, it'll go to that channel now. So 115 is going to go to the internet channel ABC News Live. However, if you want to use your antenna channels, which are normally something like 3.1, you don't have the ability to add the dot, and so you're not able to navigate to the antenna channels. That is a problem with the Roku software as of February of 2022. So overall, this is a decent remote. It can technically change channels for your Roku TV by the numbers. However, if you're trying to navigate through antenna channels using the numbers, this remote at this time is not going to help you. Hopefully one day there will be a software update to address this issue. But for now, this is where we're at. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.